Hello, today we're going to be talking about how we can use AWS Transit Gateway Connect with a big IP device. To describe this, first I want to talk about how Transit Gateway Connect works. So let's start with taking the, the simple connection where you're transferring data from the workload VPC over to the client VPC. In this situation, it's really straightforward. We just take the data that we want from the workload and we transfer it to the client and that's it. But oftentimes you want to be able to do some type of transformation on that data. Maybe you want to load balance it. Maybe you want to do additional inspection. So we're going to add into this picture a transit VPC. So let's add the transit VPC into this architecture. So here we are now with our transit VPC in the picture. And our goal is, is that we still want to send data going from the workload over to the client, but now we would like this data to travel through a transit VPC. And perhaps we're applying some type of firewall rule or doing some additional action, but we always want the traffic to go through this VPC before it goes into the client. Now then, one way of doing this is that we can deploy a big IP device within the transit VPC, and we will use that as a transfer mechanism. So as data is transferred from your workload VPC to the transit VPC, it will go to a single big IP device, and then it will reach a client, and that all works well. But what do you do if you want to work in a HA scenario? Transit Gateway Connect gives us a new way that we can take a single big IP device and split it apart into four pieces. So instead of sending all of our data through at once, we can also split it apart and we can send pieces of it. And this makes use of a GRE tunnel. And what that looks like is that each piece of data will go one at a time and they might go over to a single big IP device and then that big IP device will transfer it over to the client. And that is how we can use Transit Gateway Connect with a big IP. Thank you for watching.